Forget the Brazil-Croatia competition that's going on in Sao Paulo for just a minute. Right here in Washington, D.C., there is another competition of sorts, only this one involves robots instead of humans. They are getting ready to head over to Brazil themselves to compete in the Robo Cup next month for another soccer tournament. So let's go find out some of the robots and what they have. So one of the more complex type of robots that is here is one that was built both the hardware and the software. And I want to introduce you to one of the software and hardware developers. This is Jen Jiao. Now tell me about your robot. So this robot is built by a Korean company. So we collaborate. And this is like the kit size of the robot, robot car. So let me introduce you to the second type of robot. This one is where the software is customized, but the hardware is standardized, and everyone has the same type of robot, but it really depends on the software and how you program it in order to win. So this is one of the developers. Her name is Karen. Karen, tell me about your robot. Okay, this one is called now is built and designed by a French company called Alder Brown. This is all on its own playing song. It's wireless, no wired, and no one gives any commands during a match. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously these robotic humanoids are still quite a ways off from being able to compete with their organic counterparts. However, the technology is still constantly developing. And it's not just fun in games when it comes to this type of technology and development. Daniel Lee is from the University of Pennsylvania and is actually the one here giving this demonstration. And here are some of the other reasons he says this type of technology is so important. The technology that we're developing here has also been used in some of our self-driving cars that we've developed, in uh, other things in terms of the uh, uh, DARPA kinds of programs that we are involved with in the research. And so um, it's really used in a whole variety of technologies and embedded in our phones and things like that. So there you have it. Some of these robots are going to be heading to Sao Paulo, Brazil themselves, but this time to compete in the Robo Cup next month. <laughs> Reporting in Washington, Megan Lopez, RT.